Hey everyone, welcome back to Prairie Ground Reviews. We review books, games, movies, and TV shows. Today, we are back for episode eight, eight of, uh, yes, because last week we made the whole error based on blah, 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 of what if, what if um, Ultron won. I think that's the whole title. That's yep. the sum up, basically, anyways. Yep. Um, yeah, Nat, do your thing. Yeah, okay, well, before we get started, as usual, um, if you enjoyed our content, please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please click like. We want the YouTube to see us and, you know, promote us to more people. Yeah. And also, on that note, if you guys want to share this video with other people, by all means, please go do that. Um, if video reviews aren't really your thing, uh, we have our written stuff all over on our website, www.pregramreviews.com. And we also have a podcast, which we just released our newest episode, like two, I want to say last week, or was it? No, two days ago, two days ago, wasn't it? Two days yesterday. Ago. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. We have, uh, after a bit of a hiatus for our podcast, it's now back. So, uh, check out our thoughts on like, I think we talked about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So, uh, yep. Brooklyn if you're Nine-Nine. interested in that, that's on all your, uh, podcast platforms and i think that covers all the stuff we have so on that note i think we should get started let's get right into it let's get rolling so uh blah, 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 blah. ultron wins he kills people blah, 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 blah. now okay so ultron he uh he completes his uh his vibranium body that was becomes vision in our world and he inhabits it so um yeah he he kills all of earth he kills all the avengers except uh hawkeye and uh Black Widow, and um, then Thanos shows up, and he, like, kills Thanos in the quickest way Thanos has ever died um, in right any of, no, like, just about, right like, in half. Why did Vision just do that in the first place? Or, like, any other, like, Well, because Vision being. isn't like that. Like, he's Ultron. Not that, he's not that cold-blooded. That's, know, that thought like, doesn't come to mind. It would have been the easiest way to deal with this. Though, at least, because, like, didn't... He could have cut off his hand. To disarm him, right? Like, why did he just do that? His hand. Well, he yeah. could have cut off his hand, yes. Right. Like, but also, Vision was impaired him? the whole Infinity War, so... Because like, yeah, he was stabbed true. from the beginning, so... Yep. He wasn't that useful. But, um... Now, Ultron takes the Infinity Stones and then decides, haha, there are other planets outside of Earth. I'm going... Even though, technically, the Avengers had happened, so he knew there was aliens out there. But he decides to go conquer the universe, and he, um... He's very successful at it. <laughs> He's very successful. He just, yeah. No. Um, going into the biggest spoiler moment of the episode, the Watcher becomes a participant. He's no longer the Watcher. He's the participant. Sort wow. of. Sort of. Sort of. Well, it's guys, weird. Because he gets, well, he's not just watching now. Technically, he doesn't interfere. He gets interfered with. Yeah. He Ultron's thought about like, it. Fuck you. He thought about it a little bit. He's like, I should stop him. And then all of a sudden, Ultron's like, Hello. <laughs> or even like yeah. that box in there. He's like, That box. That box. It's that box. <laughs> he's like, You idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And no, then Clint. That was cool. Decides to die. So it's just Widow left. Um, and Arnim Zola in the body of one of uh, Ultron's <laughs> robots. Um. Without any so, legs. No legs, so which, she has to backpack him. Honestly, probably should have had legs. Even if he was gonna <laughs> be, like, if, if if like um Zold like betrayed them, what what, what would he do? <laughs> like, honestly, he would have had to fight all the other sentry bots <laughs> there's, and there's then nobody fight else alive. Yep, He's exactly. there for self preservation, no. right? So he, he obviously knows not to betray his like the people Only who saved source him, of life. Right. Like there's yeah. I and know. now he's a, yeah. now he's a huge liability going into se- going into episode nine. Because you got to carry him everywhere. He can't. You can't be like, hey, yes. go over there. No, because he's not. <laughs> Army crawl his way to the but corner. He's a, backpack. Arnim Zola is yep. a liability, anyways. Because all back, he is is a big brain. He's backpacked from Dora. But at least he, at least he was in the body of a droid, so he could at least run, yeah, or walk, shoot, or something. something. Well, he yeah, he like, still does shoot though. Right? Yep. He, yep. He, he can still shoot. Well, no, they have blast. They can shoot. He can yep. still shoot. He did shoot a few he's times. A glorified. But like, yeah, he's not as useful point. now. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, he is just like a he's with like a, a shoulder gun. <laughs> yeah, but the problem with that is like, um, Black Widow can't use her hands right now either. So it's no, that's the like thing. a she's carry it. like like no. Just, that? Even though she's got the uh, shield, it looks like Taskmaster's shield from Black Widow. Not gonna lie, um, I don't know if it was or not, but uh, see, I was having a hard time like discerning which shield um, it was because we know that all oh, the yeah. Avengers are most definitely. Done. It didn't look like Steve's though, so it, was, it wouldn't be. 
I thought Steve's was in that flashback. No, it wouldn't be. Cracked and destroyed, wasn't it? It might have been, yeah. Wee! It might have been. I think it panned in. It was like showed that and then followed by everyone dead. And mm, then, right. Oh, yep, and oh, on today's so episode, be, how does Iron Man die? Oh, yes. There you go. How does Iron, Iron Man, Man die? Again. Oh. You know what? That is like they just they killed him once and then just decided that okay you know what we've we've opened the we've opened the bridge opened the moat let's just whew, every episode now it's the cruelest of running gags it's like how are we gonna kill this man this week it's so funny he's been killed in like five episodes at this point this guy's got a higher not a version for... of him survived nope not yet nothing nothing at all but I thought it was. It this was a actually, good episode. I think this is my favorite one so far. It's it's fast. Um, mm-hmm. They get to the point in a hurry, and then just watching the Watcher kind of become a beast for half a second there. It's kind of cool. Yeah, he know, was a beast. Like, like, he also got shows, punched how, around. Yeah, like how, okay, wait, so how strong are the Infinity Stones then? Like, like we know in Loki, um, yep. the Infinity Stones are kind of... like Exactly. <laughs> but in this... Like universe where he when Ultron can break into the multiverse, he's stronger than the Watcher still. Like, I don't, I don't know how the power scaling is working. Well, I, I don't know if he's one hundred percent stronger. I don't know like the Watcher. Equal. Them. I don't know if the Watcher has put all he can into the that w- fight yet. That's also true. But he almost got killed though, didn't he? Like, I'd agree. Head the Watcher is not up. like celestial level. No. Yeah, but- you're right, Matt. But the Watchers, he's not like a celestial level. He's not like Ego. Because technically, without the Infinity Stones, Ego, the living planet from Guardians 2, is more powerful than Thanos. Oh, Ego got destroyed but today. With the stones. <laughs> yeah, Ego did get destroyed today. And uh, so did Xandar and yep. the Guardians. And this Everybody. universe was basically... Everybody. This, what, what if Marvel ended in 2015? Yeah. And That's Ultron true. won. Yep. What if that was their Infinity War, except they didn't have an endgame to fix it? Or maybe next week. But um, yeah, going on to that, maybe next week, we see Doctor Strange Supreme in his little bubble of the only thing left in life, showing that these are now connected, these multiverses, and that yep. we're going to see them together. So yep. the Watcher's like, I need your help. Yep. And Doctor Strange is like, okay. I got So you. that's our setup for next week. I yep. thought there was going to be post credit scene. I was kind of pissed there wasn't. <laughs> I was like, are you shitting me? Next week are is you the whole me? post credit scene. It's the second last episode. <laughs> we might not the even get post credit scene. We might not even get one after No, we week. won't. I don't no, think so. We won't. so. I will get like the Loki stamp for season two. Well, it'll be like, <laughs> that was so great. what if is back for season two? Austin was so pissed about that. And we filmed right after and his rage just was let loose. So if you want to see that video, it's up on our YouTube as well. But, um, Oh yeah, not, go check I was it out. not impressed. I'm I think, still not like, impressed. Talking about things we weren't impressed by, I think last week we talked about like, oh, we're expecting these last two episodes to be longer. I think even Seb was mentioned something about it being. I like thought I minutes. heard that they yeah, were, and this was shorter. Hour. It was the shortest episode yet, I think. So, uh, like, I think Captain Carter was technically like technically a shorter. minute shorter. Yeah. Okay, well, anyways, Captain Carter minutes? packed this much story, and <laughs> this felt short. Yeah, it did. Captain Carter didn't. It. I mean, they did a good job of leaving stuff for next week, but at the same time, they left stuff for next week. Mm-hmm. I feel like we could have done a little bit more here, but if we get another, like, how long was this one? 30 minutes, 30 exactly. Minutes. Yeah, like, if we get another 30 on the nose. But it's not 30 on the nose. It's 26 because there's four minutes of credit. Well, exactly, right? So, like, so... Bring us... It's not 30 minutes of story. Exactly. I don't think it'll be I don't think it'll be more than 30 minutes of story, unfortunately. I don't see it happening. That's kind of been the the wavelength oh, of this entire that'd be show. So nice. But that's true though. It that's... it's not a kid's show as we've as we've proven it's not, but it's uh but it's still an animated show, and very few animated shows have hour long episodes. It's just it's too expensive to animate for that long yeah. on a like consistent episode by episode basis so like you've got to do shorter um well, exactly but uh what thing, else was my favorite the other thing, the other thing oh, you got to think about why did he put another ultron body on top of oh so fro yeah you're cutting in pretty good um ultron body on top of what on top of the vision body 
Like he put on an Ultron body on top of the Vision body. I think that was just like a Why? suit to hold to, the like to Infinity hold the stones, stones better. Yep, that's yeah. Really cool. that's... Like on the Vision body, there's no slots for the stones, right? There's only one for the Mind Stone, no. but he needs something else to hold yeah. it. He wasn't gonna use the glove, right? No nope. gauntlet. So the gauntlet was... no, it's too flashy and too. Uh, actually, what he wore was flashy too, but too way more flashy. Too. <laughs> Dude had a full set of armor and a giant yeah, lamp. Yeah, like, that's uh, way more flashy. And his yeah. like, eyes were like, <laughs> way more flashy. He gave himself a cape. Yep. He gave himself a cape. <laughs> like, yeah. That's flashy. Well, I mean, so did Vision. Vision saw Thor and was like, yoink. And he made himself a cape in Age of Ultron. Yep. But yeah, he was very flashy in this. Um, also, love seeing the the Black Widow Hawkeye dynamic. I wish they'd done like a Hawkeye Black Widow movie or something at some point in the earlier phases of the MCU, just yeah. showing their oh, spy be cool. exploits. Because be like their dynamic is just so great, like the best friends. Yep. And that when is... Clint sacrifices himself because he's just tired. We all yeah. felt that. Yep. We all exactly. felt that. Exactly. It's I think that's there's I think there's a couple of relationships. Like a movie that focused a little bit more on Hulk and Black Widow would have been super cool. That would have been oh, good, too. Been awesome. yeah. really good, right? Yeah. I think there's a couple that... Same thing with Hawkeye. Like, both of them? Like, yeah, we got Black Widow now, but, like... And now we're getting the Hawkeye show, but still. Though it would have been super cool in that first set of movies to get a little bit more in-depth on those two. Because they have some of the coolest backstories out there just due to the fact they don't have any... Powers. Powers of any sort of extreme sort, right? So. No. It's unfortunate, but they're starting to cover it a little bit more with this what if, so that's okay. I don't mind Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And I mean, maybe in season two, we'll see more of their relationship and other variations of the two of them. I saw a meme the other day about what if um, Hawkeye and Black Widow had been requested to go help during Party Thor, but then saw how strong he was and decided to dip instead. Uh, and party instead of stopping them as shield members but um also i think widow she's definitely the trailers would suggest she's our representative from this multiversal event because like i think we'll have like one major player from each of the episodes fighting you think killmonger is going to represent his episode spidey's going to represent uh the zombies i think so i think we'll see (laughs) Yeah, that one, that's still my favorite no, episode of Zombies. But this stuff going into no, fighting. That'd he's so useless. That'd it's great. the cloak. The cloak is who's useful. The cloak Just bring the cloak. The head be great. Floating <laughs> Ant-Man head. Yep. Oh, Paul we Rudd. need it. We need it. We need it. No, but. that universe has the second worst fate of them all. In that, yep. Well, I guess, no, Thor is still coming in, though, technically, because that's the Wakanda scene. So he'll yep. just arrive, and I don't know, maybe he can kill a zombie. I don't know. Maybe. Or he gets eaten, and when Zombie Thor is there, it's all over. Then it's game done. over. Then it's done. The um, universe is done. This was our first, kind of our first look at the idea of what the multiverse would look like from the outside looking in, which I thought was pretty cool. Like oh, on yeah, a true, conceptual true. level, like yeah. from the watcher's perspective. Yeah, from, it was cool. Right? Almost as if it's like a, just a whole big hallway with a whole bunch of mirrors. Of yeah, right. and it's like these, you go into the hallway, you go into like one of the glass pieces, and yep. you're in a different multiverse. Mm-hmm. Now, I wonder if the whole falling, now this, I thought this was a little bit weird, and I couldn't wrap my mind around how this makes sense, but you know how they've kept like falling through multiverses? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or universes? Universes, yeah. Do you think those holes being open could have an effect? Because like... On what if? Or... On the MCU as a whole, who knows? Something. Who knows? Because now you got some good old fashioned potential for cross pollination. What's you know what uh, I mean? what, what's Doctor Strange about? Is that where the multiverse of madness? Multiverse comes of madness. Thing? That's what it's called. That's what know, it's called. Yeah. You think it's because of? I don't know. How this is all random speculation, now, but, like, but you know, yes. uh, it could be. It very well could be. We get Spidey first, and then we should have at least a little bit more of an idea. Yeah, um, they're just Spidey's gonna... most likely going to explore the multiverse heavily, and then we're going to see because it's suggested in the trailer. Most likely, no, 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 no. It will. <laughs> yeah, the trailer has sold that piece at least. Yeah, that's true. And then Multiverse Madness will wrap that up as well as Wanda's search for her children. Um, also, no Sad. Wanda in this universe. So, uh, because well, I mean, she shows up in Age of Ultron. 
but so she would have fought with the Avengers, but died just her powers weren't as powerful back then. No, and they weren't. This, Ultron doesn't care about her. He she was just a tool. So with no vision to like motivate her emotionally to keep being a hero, blah blah yeah, she's blah. Toast. Yeah. Or just spending time with the Avengers. At this point, she would have just been a kid. Because she's probably again, she she destroyed a stone on her own and yep. she nearly killed Thanos. So she's pretty powerful, but without her, it's kind of screwy. Um but it's screwy. <laughs> yep. It's too bad, yep. so sad. Yep, exactly. In the worst. But exactly. um you know. It's it's really hard as uh as the Avengers <laughs> keep losing every episode. Hey man, you know what? I'm actually enjoying it because a lot of the flack that Marvel takes is that nobody ever loses. So you know what? They had a whole movie Tony where they all die. lost. Sort of. Sort of. No, but they didn't. Lose. You can't even say they lost because in the end they revived everyone who and killed. And they proceeded like, to win. So, like, did anyone really yeah, but lose for a year, fight? you were just stuck with them having failed to kill Thanos. But, and now you but if you go back and, and watch like... them now, it's like bang, bang. You lose a couple of characters. And they come back. Right? Yeah. And there's only a but couple that Tony actually dies. stay gone. That's a loss for the universe. Yeah. Is it Same though, thing with Cap going every... old. I think and... he's supposed to die one way or another because he's dying in every single other universe. So I'm like... more of a I'm more of a cap guy to be quite honest with you. I know you are. So I'm but his impact was still he was he was the one who snapped the fingers. So... Anybody could have snapped the fingers. And lots of people could have snapped their fingers and lived. So some of some of them. Some. Only like Captain Marvel and like Maybe Black Panther's vibranium suit could have handled it. I've seen that theory. Captain Marvel for sure could have. And she was like not that far away. No. But Tony did it and he gets to be the hero. So, you know, exactly. either dead, I'm the hero. So Exactly. Um, but no, do you guys have anything more to input for this week's episode? I think we're ready. I think we're good. I, Super excited connected. for next week. Yeah. Um, for the hundredth time, no idea what's coming. Can't even no. theorize. The show's Dude. impossible. No, um, I have one theory. Everyone's coming together this episode. Done. Yes. Obviously, everyone's coming together this episode, but like, you know. Second would... theory, very wild. Post credit scene's going to have a live action Doctor Strange put, popping into <laughs> the animated universe. Oh, that'd be oh. wild. That'd be so wild. It would break the internet. <laughs> It'd just be all oh, game over, man. That'd be. <laughs> Hilarious and actually really good for everything. Setting up everything. Yeah. It just be like, oh, this is important for all those who aren't tuning in. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Get on your horse. It's actually a good show. Whether or not it's super connected to the MCU, it's just a good show in general. Yep. That mm -hmm. gets to use the MCU license and the characters and their storylines to tell different versions. And exactly. definitely check it out. The animation's exactly. still great. The action's cool. Um, not that. There's been like better action than this week's episode. Just like, I mean, the stuff, Doctor Strange versus Doctor Strange. Um, there's There's been some more visually interesting scenes, but the action in this was still solid. I'm not well, saying absolutely. that. Absolutely. I'm just saying it wasn't always the most visually as appealing as some certain other episodes. Yep. But overall, a really solid episode, definitely in the upper echelon of the What If show. So um, I think that's all from us today. So from everyone here at the Fairground Reviews team, we'll see you guys next time.